Hello and welcome to Monday's Daily Financial Review. Here's what's making the headlines in the markets today. The dollar-yen pair has fallen 0.4% in the last session. The highs-lows indicator has receded into the negative area. The price of gold has added 2.3% in the last two sessions. The Williams indicator moved into the overbought area. Bitcoin has added 7.2% in the last five sessions. The ADX shifted sharply into the positive zone. The Aussie dollar pair has added 1.3% in the last three sessions. The ATR shifted into the high volatility area. And now let's hear what our chief analyst picked up for us today. Fortnite developer Epic Games tries to get some regulation in place to ensure that the 30% cut Apple takes in its iOS app store is altered. Demand for Ethereum futures continues to grow. The monthly volume of Ethereum futures grew by 5.3% in September, from $163.1 billion to $172 billion. While it was a relatively busy week on the economic calendar, Trump's release, hopes of more stimulus, drove investors into risky assets. Those were today's major economic events. And now, moving on to world financial headlines. The Japanese machine tool orders will be released at 600 GMT, the U.S. three-month bill auction at 1330 GMT, the U.S. six-month bill auction at 1330 GMT. The New Zealand's electronic card retail sales at 1945 GMT, the UK BRC like-for-like -like retail sales at 2101 GMT, and the Japanese M3 money supply at 2150 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.